hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we will learn about srp single responsibility principle this is the second video on solid principle so the first word of solid stands for s so s stands for srp single responsibility principle what does each uh, what does it mean by or the srp principle tells that every function or class or module should have one or only one reason to change the reason to change is nothing but responsibility so we can say that every function class module should have one responsibility so what is srp is uh, or srp tells one and only reason to change why why srp reason should be based on the responsibility that's why one and only reason we have mapped with responsibility and how we can achieve this the easiest way to achieve this by separation of concerns by using separation of concerns we can achieve single responsibility how to identify the reasons to change we are, uh, as of now we are saying that the, there should be single responsibility or uh, in that case we need to find out multiple regions and uh, which can tell us that uh, where is or uh, there is chance of improvement or uh, change so uh, in core wise uh, it's easy to uh, understand or easy to identify only few, uh, using few basic things if means in co code in code if wh wherever there is if statement there, there is chance of multiple regions to change means the that block can act like a god or that block uh, can uh, can fulfill multiple regions so there is chance uh, that's why uh, we need to go for if statements switch statements in short we can say wherever there is conditional block there is a chance so we need to go uh, go through those code bases and just uh, separate the concerns then monster method what is a monster method S some methods you will find the uh, or let's say if a method is very big 500 or 600 lines of code and it does everything like uh, uh, it uh, one example will be uh, we can say let's say uh, if we wrote a method to log in or log out there uh, if we are doing login log out re login invite some cache all and the, the, we can say the, in that case that method works uh, is a monster method so where we are saying the method responsibility is also not single and the line line of code is also is very big that's why uh, the easy, easier way to identify by just lines of code looking at the lines of code you can find out that whether uh, this is uh, monster method or not then god class this is a uh, general tendency that we have seen that uh, if uh, if you cannot find it any good name for any method uh, or any class let's say if you don't find any good name for a class for easier create a util and uh, when uh, several times we find that uh, uh, where we will create the method in which class we will create the method uh, just create it in a util 
so in those uh, in those cases you will find the util method is a god class sorry util class is a god class because it does everything even uh, 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 you will find that in uh, some of the uh, or you may have encountered that in some of uh, uh, projects all the business logic is written inside util as well so uh, the, in that case that util util class is uh, known as god class so uh, uh, it's uh, wherever there is god class or a uh, class like that there is uh, um, you will find that uh, there will be multiple regions uh, to change so these are the places where there is chance that uh, uh, those are breaking the srp principle and we need to change them okay now let's take an example this is a very basic example uh, in every uh, e-commerce application or payment uh, gateway any any application th there is a login uh, functionality there is logout functionality so uh, initially uh, let's say i, I have uh, got a requirement where i need to uh, just log in and log out so uh, i have created a method one method login or log out and uh, doing the uh, login and log out based on the username but sooner the requirement increased uh, because uh, long long ago we have seen that uh, the uh, login or log out uh, or login was based on only user username or email id but uh, now uh, you will find that there are several uh, login which allows login via gmail or google login via facebook or any uh, other social ne uh, networking like login via linkedin that can also uh, there are uh, uh, lots of login flow available now and also login via otp so uh, these are uh, few majorly used login types and in most of e-commerce uh, application you will find uh, that uh, you are allowed to login via any of this way so uh, my uh, login login or logout method became like this where uh, i have written lots of evil conditions and there uh, i was writing the whole block so uh, forget about this to do it's not to do uh, in this diagram uh, actually uh, let's say i was writing the uh, if it is email login then the whole block is written there if it is google login whole block is written like that facebook login otp even uh, in re login scenario also i have written the whole block there so uh, sooner uh, uh, you will find that uh, even i find that this method is too heavy is doing everything it's it's one type of a uh, monster method we can say how we can make it better and why why we need it reason that let's say uh, we need to make any change to google login approach there is chances of breaking some other thing uh, because uh, we are touching the same piece of code so, and uh, in that case if i make any change in this method that means i need to verify the facebook login scenario otp login scenario all those uh, although uh, uh, i was not making any change uh, means my purpose was not to make any change there but uh, as i have already or uh, i made some change in that method there is chances to break that means there is, uh, i need to again verify those scenarios or uh, test those scenarios so in that case it will increase the development life cycle or testing life cycle how we can ensure that uh, if i am making some change to the log google login it will not impact to the facebook login scenario or email login scenario
that means I need to separate those things. And from wider, even if I see, there, there is email login and there is logout, email logout. Similarly, Google login, Google logout, Facebook login, Facebook logout. So, uh, uh, it's like a group. Uh, every login logout means uh, 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 belongs to one type. That, that type, uh, if I say authentication. So, we can, uh, be, uh, instead of writing whole piece of code here, based, based on the complexity or based on the uh, scenario, it's better to, if I can move that code to some other place, what is that place then? If I mo move the code to separate uh, method or separate class, then that can uh, means that, that will be we can say um, uh, easier to maintain. So then I created my module like this, where different type of classes I have created: email authentication, Facebook authentication, Google authentication, login class, logout class, OTP authentication. And every authentication class has, uh, let's say, I have created two uh, methods. One is authentication means is login, and the, the uh, second purpose it will fulfill as logout. So email authentication will handle email login logout. Facebook authentication will handle Facebook login logout, and so on. Now inside my login uh, login method, uh, my, uh, inside my login method. Based on the type, let's say it's email login. So uh, now I have uh, used email authentication object dot login. The actual implementation of that uh, email authentication login will be inside that uh, class or inside the, the login method of that class. And uh, similarly for Google login, the actual implementation will be inside the login method of Google authentication class and so on. In this case, uh, my login method only performs login functionality irrespective of which type of uh, uh, login we want. Also it does not have the actual uh, code change here. That means it, it is easier to scale. Tomorrow I can introduce another type of login and the uh, actual code will be at that class and uh, here if you see that my re-login re as uh, I found that the re-login re scenario is very simple so just uh, created another method so uh, wherever there is if else block uh, the, there uh, based on the complexity we need to either use different type of uh, uh, or uh, we need to uh, separate the code inside inside the uh, methods or the classes. So similarly, uh, that uh, logout cl class I have created, where uh, logout method performs the similar fu functionality, and uh, the generic classes that I have created, email authentication, Google authentication, uh, so. Uh, each of these authentication have only login and logout. Log, login is uh, handled inside or login is called inside the lo actual uh, login method of uh, login class and uh, logout method of uh, those uh, authentication class is called inside logout method of logout class. In this way we can uh, uh, means we have already divided the uh, classes uh, or uh, one method to different uh, classes or different uh, methods and uh, then uh, making any change uh, addition or uh, uh, updation or we can say modification will become easier and uh, also it will ensure that uh, if I make some change in Google authentication class there will be no change required to the other uh, piece of code.
बिकॉज द क्लास इज कम्प्लीट डिफरेंट एंड द मेथड वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड डिफरेंट इट्स नॉट इन द सेम मेथड सो सिमिलरली अगेन अगेन वी कैन ब्रेक दिस क्लास मेथड लॉग इन मेथड ऑल्सो वी कैन अगेन ब्रेक इट सो हियर इफ वी सी लॉग इन मेथड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज टू डू लॉग इन गुगल लॉग इन दैट लॉग इन मेथड ऑफ गुगल ऑथेंटिकेशन क्लास इज टू डू लॉग इन वाया गुगल और जी मेल सो ईच ऑफ दिस क्लास हाज इट्स ओन और सोलो रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और सिंगल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड हाउ वी अचीव दिस this by by separation of concerns wherever there is concern where we separated it out this is this is known as srp or single responsibility principle thank you